hello everyone welcome to code enzyme in this video i'm going to show you my sublime setup so a few days ago i switched from vs code to sublime for competitive programming so this is my setup first i open my sublime text in a folder so i have set up a quick action in sublime text so this will directly open the folder in my sublime text and whenever i open it like i will just show you like this is i have set it up automatically so uh so i will just show you like even if I, I remove it from here so if I have something like uh, if I do it directly yeah so this will happen again that uh, these four columns are created automatically so I have set it up and I will show you how to do that now this big tab I will open uh, in the code file and when, for, when I will use it for the input uh, when I will use it for the output and the third file that uh, that I will use it for the expected output so what I like to do is let's say I have a simple program to add two numbers so if I have two uh, two comma three and uh, let's say three comma three so the output should be five comma six right so what I can do I will just simply code it so it was a simple program and now if I want to uh, like if I run this so I will have I will run this like this so it will show the output I think I uh, this should be two years sorry about that now now when i run this uh, so that was the output and now for checking that these two files match or not i mean i can check it by simply seeing it but uh, if the file is too large i also made a checker code and now if i when i do this it will show it will show that it, it was okay um, these two files are now matched so i can i know that the input expected output and the output are matching Otherwise, if I say the expected output was something like this and when I run this again, it will say failed that the expected output and the output are not matching. So that is my competitive programming setup and now I will show you how you can set this up yourself. Okay. Uh, and the same thing goes for Python also. Uh, you can, I, I have not actually set this up for Py Python yet, but uh, you can actually try it on your own and do the same things for Python. Okay. So let's go one by one. So now I am assuming you have already installed your Sublime Text Editor. If not, you can just uh, go to the browser and search for Sublime Text. Right. And then download it yourself from here, download section. And uh, okay. First of all, if you are not a Mac user, you can skip this step. But if you are a Mac user and you want to set this quick action, open text in Sublime, uh, Sublime Text or open, uh, open in VS Code, what you can do is uh, you can go to your automator app right first open your automator and select this quick action uh, button choose then you have to click on this uh, uh, files and folders and choose get specified finder items don't select uh, don't select get selected finder items make sure you are selected get specified finder items and drag it to the right and now select open finder items uh, open finder items and drag it here and now you can select your default uh, you can select your default app that is uh, uh, you will not find sublime text here so open this and search for your sublime text and choose okay now you can press command space uh, to save it and you can type it open in sublime text okay so make sure you don't make any spelling errors here so double check your spellings and then once you are done you can click the save button but since i already have that so i will not be clicking save so that is that okay and now i am skipping this step that if you are a windows or a mac user you should have g plus plus installed and i've already shown uh, made a video so if you are a mac user and and you are having difficulties with bits study c plus plus file or something like that you can click on this video uh, to the, uh, on this video in the i button here to and watch that video first and make sure that you have already installed g plus plus 13 in your personal computer and after that once you are you have set up your g plus plus so you are not getting that bits std c plus plus not found and you can use the policy based data structures come back here okay and now once you have set this up uh, you might still be getting this uh, getting errors in your bits std c plus plus file for that I installed a plugin called uh, Fast Olympic Coding. So in here, in this Fast Olympic Coding, uh, what I did was I said uh, I changed this lint command uh, lint cmd from G plus plus thirteen to G plus plus minus thirteen. Okay. So what you can do is you can go to preferences if you have not uh, and search for install packages 
and here you can search for cpp fast olympic coding now i have already installed it so i am not able to find it but uh, uh, you will find it and you can click on it and download it after that you can after that you can search for the same thing uh, fast olympic coding open settings and when you click it this will pop up and here you have to you will have to change it from g plus plus 13 to minus 13 i make sure you that you have watched this video before if you are using mac os and then once you do that uh, if you are in mac your errors will go away okay okay so now i am assuming that you have installed your sublime text editor and now uh, what i like to do is uh, i first go to view then i select four columns okay and then I go to view and select groups and then I have to say max column equals to 2 and then I adjust it to something like this okay so this is quite a tedious task and I automated it using a custom plugin so to set this up automatically you have to make a custom plugin for it and for that you need to go to tools uh, unit developer and new plugin so if you are a windows user you will uh, have to make this plugin on your own and now you can uh, write your plugin code the plugin code looks something like this i will share this code in the description uh, in the github link uh, and then you can simply save this file as a as this uh, the default layout.py in your user folder if you can't find this folder uh, i will just show you how you can actually find this so what you can do is uh, when you click on save uh, okay so the path is pretty clear that first you have to go to mac os hd then users then uh, like this is the path actually so if you are in mac you need to find this user folder if you are in windows also i don't know how to find it in windows but uh, you need to search you can google and search where this user folder actually is and then go to it this is the file for my macbook it might differ for yours and uh, so you have to go to users then rishab that is my name and uh, then library actually this library folder is hidden so make sure you uh, you can press command shift and uh, full stop to show the hidden folders and then go to library application support sublime text and here okay and then you need to go there and select and set this uh, uh, you can name this file anything default layout dot py and then you will get it okay so now we have this uh, and then you can save it i already have this fi file so i will not uh, save it obviously and then i open three files like in the in this big area so now when you open this uh, you, you, when you open your sublime text it will automatically open it like if i show you uh, when i open this file uh, sorry what it so now when i open my sublime text it will automatically make uh, three sections for me and here i can open my input file here i can open my output file and here i can open my expected file to edit it okay so we have this now we'll just show you how you can op uh, set up your snippets so open your user folder and in this i made a folder called cpp snippets and i will also uh, i will also include the all these snippets in the github repository below so you can check that out okay and in this uh, i have uh, i have a variety of snippets so you can include those snippets that you actually need and don't include too many okay uh, for python i have not included many snippets but uh, one thing you will see is uh, this um, uh, Monday 19 uh, the date that I have added this is not actually available in sublime you can't actually do it but uh, I have uh, set up a custom plugin for it so what I did was in this I have a date setup.py which is const continuously editing my this file default tm preferences so if I open this you will see that here I am writing this date using this file using this python file that I have this date setup dot .py. so if you just paste all these files in your uh, users directory it will automatically happen so basically in the snippets uh, in the cp template basically you can uh, use this variable current date to uh, do that if you want it is an optional thing like if you don't want you can uh, keep it anything you want okay you can you can even remove these lines if you don't need it so only include the files that you really need okay so now I have this now how to set up the build system so what I like to do is uh, in the user folder only so I mean it is pretty much optional but what you can do is uh, you can go to developers build system and then create a new build system I will just show you my code so in here I have two build systems for C++ 
uh, we have first is this uh, first is, is this build system that we have so in this i am this is the simple uh, c++ uh, so this is the C++ build system with input and output files. Okay, so I have uh, so this is the whole co runner code. Okay, so this is my whole runner code, and uh, then I have this input.txt and output.txt. Okay, so when I run this, it will take the uh, input from this file and it will save the output of the code in this output.txt. So that is the code, and and for normal C++ building, uh, we have this the, the same code basically without that input and output file okay so i can simply run this using uh, this using command shift b and select this and it will work and to have the checker code uh, it is a snippet actually if you want to have the checker code too you can uh, this is my snippet for the checker code uh, so you can check this out i have written this myself and this is basically uh, I'm importing the uh, I'm opening the two files and then just comparing it if the contents of the these two files are same or not. Okay, and I don't know why this doesn't work if I remove this check uh, just checking line. So if you have the solution for this, you can tell me in the comments. Thank you. One more thing that you should look for is the uh, my default settings. So you can open your uh, preferences. And in here, in here I have set up some things like uh, the font and what is important here is you, you can set your focus on uh, save on focus loss so whenever you switch from files you can uh, save it okay and what else is uh, you can yeah, you can set this to false so basically when you have multiple lines it doesn't uh, remove it so if you are using python uh, as well then you should uh, uh, do these things also uh, okay so translate spaces to uh, tabs to spaces otherwise it might give you an indentation fault okay so once you have this you are pretty much done thank you Okay, so now the last thing that I want to tell you is let's say you have set this up yourself and now you are completely fine. And now you have this template uh, which is using bits std c++ file. But there is a warning here that this file is very big. Because uh, let's say you are not using this bits std c++ file and, uh, and you are only using your half include io stream. And now if you run this file, you will realize your code runs in only 489 milliseconds. Okay. But if uh, but if you were to do the same thing using your bits std c++ and when you run this you will see that your code is taking almost 2 seconds which is very uh, almost 3 times the time it took for uh, std uh, io stream. Now actually this is not the runtime because when you submit your code on an online judge like code Surf or code forces it, it judges your code based on runtime. But when you are testing your code locally, it, if, it, if it takes you two seconds to judge your every test case, it will, it can become frustrating, right? So why this is taking so much time is because this file is too big. And whenever you run your code, your code, uh, your compiler has to compile it every, uh, every time you run your code. So to make it faster, what you can do is you can pre-compile this whole file. So first thing you need to do is you, you need to find where this file is actually stored. Now for a Windows user, you will find this in your C drive or wherever you installed your MinGW. But if you are a Mac user, if you watch the that video, then uh, you will find this in your OPT Homebrew. Uh, let's actually open this. Uh, so let's say Homebrew, then we will have a folder called Seller. In this, I will have a folder called GCC, then 13 point uh, this. And in here I will have a folder called include C++ 13 and bits. Okay. So here you will find your file std c++ h somewhere. So std c++ h and we want to pre-compile it with, your G, uh, with the g++ compiler. Okay. So what you can do is first you need to open this, uh, this folder using your terminal or, uh, or I should say your uh, uh, command prompt. So you can open this uh, folder in your command prompt or terminal uh, and now like okay if you if you don't know how to open it you can simply open your command prompt and change your directory directory to this folder like opt opt and homebrew and come till this point okay so now i am assuming that you have opened your folder and now we want to compile this and make sure that when you are compiling it you are using the same uh, you are using the same uh, tags so since i had like in my, in the sublime text, I had uh, my tags were 
if you see i am using these tags like g plus plus minus o2 and c plus plus std 17 okay so from this i can use this like g plus plus minus o2 std c plus plus 17 and now i will write the name of the file that is std c plus plus dot h and press enter so make sure these are the same otherwise it will not uh, pre-compile your uh, std c plus plus dot h uh, and if you are running your code with uh, without these tags it will also not use use this pre-compiled file so make sure that you are using the same tags when you are pre-compiling it okay now press enter it will take some time but uh, to bring up palace and once this is done running uh, your file is now compiled now so let's try to run this code again and when you run this code again you will realize that uh, it is now running much faster so that was the last thing that i wanted to say uh, what else is left is uh, I mean you can from here you can go anywhere like if you want you can uh, use the simple fast olympic coding with competitive companion and uh, that will also work uh, I've also set up terminus so I'm also I also some, sometimes use terminus so you can also check this out so I hope you were able to understand my setup and if you did kindly like this video subscribe to the channel I will see you guys next time thank you